Um, I wanted to share with you all something. I was just spending just a few minutes with the Lord. And I feel like... I feel like he's given me a revelation that's really simple, but um, new for me, maybe not you. Um, I've always thought that faith, bold faith looks physically like this. Huh, I don't know how to explain it other than in Jesus name, I receive my healing <coughs> and Perhaps it does at times, but I was just praying, seeking his healing directly, knowing that it's already his desire, knowing that it's already purchased. He's already completed all the work for that to be done. And just saying, Lord, I, I thank you for your healing. I receive it from your hands of mercy. And finding a new humility of just being so overwhelmed and so grateful and so humble that he would desire to bring us healing. That I think that that's what true bold faith looks like. It doesn't look arrogant or... It looks humble because... The only response to truly, truly having complete faith and knowing that God has both purchased healing for us with his blood, with his stripes on his back, and knowing that his desire of his heart is us to be well, knowing that he not only purchased it, but desires for it to be ours and is not holding it back for us, having 100% persuasion of that doesn't bring me any air of cockiness it brings a humility i think that true strong faith that accomplishes and manifests his desires looks humble looks broken brokenness meaning i am so in awe of the fact that god himself with all of his priceless treasure of his nature of jesus christ being literally the treasure of heaven and him him dying for me i believe it i'm fully persuaded i have full faith there's no doubt in there there's no unbelief and what that faith does to me is brings me to a place of brokenness that he would do that for me and that he loves me that much it's not disbelief I believe it. So therefore I'm broken and humbled by it. And in that place of humility, <coughs> being able to access in the physical, what is already mine in the spiritual. I don't know. I, I don't know if this is a, <coughs> a complete shifting or just a, a layering of a new revelation to this for me, because I believe in being bold. Obviously, if you know me, <clears throat> you know that my desire is for us as the body of Christ to be, excuse me, I didn't mean to bring you so close, is to be bold with our faith. Like, that's, that's just my heart. But I wonder if our boldness looks less like human boldness, more like human humility, because we trust and believe that he's done all this for us and it strikes us it it strikes us it, it's the it's the fear of god the awe of god the awe of what he's done i don't know i think it's it's mingling faith with the fear of the lord possibly <coughs> so if you if you need healing i want to pray with you and i want to pray for myself as well um i've had this this cough for a few weeks and it's just a cough and it's it's very irritating, and other people said that they've had this as well. Nothing to accompany it, no congestion or um, headache or fever or feeling sick or any of that, just the cough. And that seems like it's distracting the rest of my life, right? So let me show you my view right here just to lighten the mood for a moment. Okay, just so you know what I have going on right, right to the left of the camera. Um, 
sorry, you are aware that with me these aren't going to be professional because they're just not. If, they're, if they have to be professional, they will never be done. <coughs> so, I want to pray with you if you need healing in your body. I want to first tell you that Isaiah says, by his stripes, we were healed. We are healed. And then in the New Testament, it's quoted again. It says, we were healed. I want to tell you that stripes is a very nice packaged way of saying um, his flesh on his back was obliterated for us. Ripped off of his body. That's stripes. When we see his stripes, the lashings that he took on his back, which the Bible correlates to our healing were so severe that many men wouldn't make it just through that. So I want to first thank him. Thank you, Jesus. Lord, it is incomprehensible to me to think that you would do that for my healing. Lord, you could just save my spirit and my body could stay sick. And I would, I would not go to hell and I would be with you for eternity. But Lord, you wanted to do a through and through work. You desired above all that my soul prospered. My mind, will, and emotions were a place of peace and a place that were healed. You desired even still that my body, the third layer of who I am, the third level, the most temporal layer, <coughs> really the most unimportant part would also be well so i thank you first jesus for that lord i speak directly to you father and i thank you for sending your son to die for us i thank you for the gospel of jesus christ for the salvation for the, that you can take someone that's dead spiritually and because of one drop of the precious blood of jesus and because of our faith in that blood to forgive us to buy us back that we are saved and that because we give you our life we are saved Thank you, Jesus. Thank you doesn't say it. I don't know how to say it, but my heart says it to you, Lord. Thank you. So, God, I pray for our bodies in Jesus' name, specifically, to be made whole by the stripes of Jesus' back. We believe this fully. We are fully persuaded, 100%. We don't have any doubt. We have zero unbelief concerning your desire for our wholeness, your provision for a wholeness. There is zero, uh, zero doubt. So, Lord, whether it's a headache or what they call terminal cancer, it matters not to you. There are no degrees of difficulty for God. <laughs> There are no degrees of difficulty for God. Wow. Everything is easy for you if faith is present. And your anointing is able to manifest. So Lord, we believe that you desire us healed and whole. You proved it by what Jesus endured. We speak to Father God through Jesus Christ and the power of the Spirit. And Father God, we come to you now. And we ask that as it is in heaven, so be it in earth. In heaven, there is no sickness. So we ask that in the earth, that Lord, as Jesus prayed, your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Your will is for us to be whole. So I receive your will to my throat right now in the name of Jesus. Once and for all, I receive your will on earth as it is in heaven. I receive healing to my vocal cords, to my throat. I receive a replenishment to the tissue that is dry and been uh, swollen and damaged by coughing. And Lord, I just receive healing through Jesus. By faith, by anointing, by the fear of the Lord, I come before you and I humbly thank you for this assurance that I have. And we pray, and I say we, I mean the Holy Spirit and myself. We pray for anyone right now in the name of Jesus that needs a physical healing. And in the power of the Holy Spirit, I speak to the sicknesses humbly before God, but boldly before the enemy. And I say, sickness, leave those bodies now in Jesus' name. Because the authority has been given to me through Jesus Christ. So with humility, with humility, 
I usher his authority in the authority of Jesus. And I declare the name of Jesus over everyone watching with any sickness. I declare the name of Jesus, the authority of Jesus, the stripes of Jesus over anyone watching. And it is not by might. It is not by power, but it's by the spirit of God. So I declare wholeness and healing to you now in Jesus authority. Amen. Love you guys.